Okay, so we're going to look at the autopilot capabilities currently. I've made a separate video that shows how to add custom waypoints. So you can add custom waypoints. Um, there's a short process to do, so it's not only a single press of a key, um, but it's very easy to do. Um, this video is just going to show how the autopilot works and the capabilities you have with it. So you have a lot of targets. If you look over here, you can cycle through all of your locations. So space, space. So a lot of the planets currently that I have not been to, um, I just have it stop you out in space away from the planet. Um, since I don't have an accurate atmospheric altitude for all of the planets yet. Um, but again, in the other video of adding locations, I show you how to grab that um, so you can enter the atmosphere safely. So you can cycle through all of your targets. Now for targets that are on the same planet as you, for example, I will fly to something nearby, um, the spaceport. So one of the functions is landing and takeoff. So you can just hit G to take off or hit G to land again. So once we get in our ship, we'll just hit G to take off, select where we want to go from the list here. Um, if it is far away from you, like if you're look, going to a, a far different planet, you can kind of aim towards it, but it's not necessary. If the target is on the other side of the planet, um, you can still just autopilot to it. It will circle the planet, planet and go there. If it's on another planet, which is on the other side of the planet, it will climb to space and circle the planet. This works for most ships. It's still a little experimental. Um, so definitely test that to see if your ship will safely circle the planet before going to the target. Um, but for the most part, it does um, avoid the current planet you're on. Um, there is no collision detection from planets in your way. For example, if I tried to fly to that moon and maybe this planet was in my way, it would not avoid sanctuary to get to that moon. So you want to make sure you're obviously clear of any uh, major obstructions to your target. Okay, so that's out of the way. So going to our target. All you do is select your target and then activate the autopilot. I'll turn on the trajectory here and it will fly you to your target. It will climb to altitude to avoid obstacles, and once it's in range of the target, it will reorient and fly you directly to your target. It will slow down as you approach your target, and all of these speeds are adjustable in the autopilot. And once it arrives at your target, and it's close enough, it will land. So that was all automatic. I'm flying within a planet from one location to another. Now flying to another planet works the same way, we'll, and also flying to a space station. So we will fly to a space station first. So we'll select our space station, and then the same thing. Just hit Alt-1 to activate it, and it will fly to the space station. I'll set the destination so you can see where it's going. And so it will climb and transfer from atmosphere to space automatically. If you have a heavy load, um, and if this trajectory does not work for the heavy load for your ship, um, you might have to get to space manually. Um, so this is kind of just a mild transition from atmosphere to space. It should work for most ships that are, you know, fairly capable. If you're way overloaded and this is too steep, then you will have to do it on your own. It's not going to adjust the angle for your ship. So it's designed for, you know, decently capable ships. 
that are not overloaded. And if that's the case, it will just do a smooth transition like so. And then it will adjust your trajectory to get it fairly close to your targets. Um, it takes a little bit for targets that are very close, targets that are very far away. Obviously, it's easier to adjust your trajectory. Okay, so we've just come in range of our station as, as far as our braking distance based on our speed. Um, it does calculate your braking distance along, sort of, it sort of uses your talents as well, which is why it will toggle the brakes on and off quickly. Um, so that you're, if you have higher talents, you're not gonna stop too fast. Um, but it is accurate for your brakes. Um, and based on your weight, chip capabilities, and your talents. So it will always brake you you know, before your target. It will, of course, readjust as you approach your target. Okay, now that we've arrived and we're in range of our target, it will just cruise slowly um, to our actual parking point um, that we've saved in the autopilot um, which i've saved a little bit of ways away from the station again your autopilot should be you know a decent distance away you know 500 meters or so from your um, station or however far you know you feel is necessary to avoid obstacles um, you know any other ships that are parked there and not crashing your station if you come from you know a, an odd direction So it's just kind of adjusting the trajectory because we're, you know, obviously fairly close to a planet that we're influenced from the gravity of the planet. But it'll make sure that, you know, you get to your point. Okay, and we've just arrived at our point and it just went ahead and locked the brakes for us and it will hold us here. And then with the brakes locked, it will just hold us in space. Obviously, if you got out here, you probably want to maneuver your contract to lock it in place. Or from this point, you can actually go, you know, and take over and go land on your station to lock it to the station. So that is flying from a planet's surface out into space or to another planet also works the same way. So we'll fly back. So we're going to change our target back to Alioth, back to where we were at. And autopilot is on and we'll fly us back to our target. And so this would work the same way if you were on the surface of another planet flying to another planet. It would transition you into space and then just go from here. So down here you see our tools. This kind of shows all of the options we have, um, which you can scroll through. It shows your braking distance, your braking target distance, um, so you could see if something, if by chance something went wrong, it's very, it's never happened yet. But if your braking distance down here started to get much, started to go way above your target distance, then you would know you're not braking fast enough. Um, but that, again, it calculates all that, so that would, unless you mess something up in the code, that would never happen. Um, all of your tools here. Um, it has a brake toggle, which 
you can turn this on and off with Alt 9. Um, this changes the way your brakes work. Basically, with this on, if you tap Control, it will lock your brakes on. And if you tap Control again, it will you know, turn your brakes off. If you toggle this off, the brakes work as normal where you hold Control to brake. And if you let go of Control, you stop braking. So basically, if you were flying on your own um, and you just wanted to lock your brakes on, that's what that's for. Wing Boost Alt 7. This basically simulates as if you were in atmosphere and you were holding space to um, give your wings additional boost or additional lift. So when we're in atmosphere, that's pretty much always on. Um, you could toggle that off if you did not want that. Obviously our autopilot toggle on or off. Our location mode, we can change these between um, the autopilot going to a location or just aligning you prograde or retrograde. Um, so those are the different modes you can cycle through with Alt 2. Altitude hold. Um, the autopilot will use this and you can also use this yourself just by hitting B. B will toggle the altitude hold and it will hold altitude um, at whatever altitude you're at when you let go of your pitch controls. So that's W or S. So whenever you let go of those keys when you're in atmosphere, it will record that last altitude you're at and then it will hold that altitude. So you toggle it on and off with just hitting currently B um, because I don't have any boosters on the ship, but I could move that to another key if you did have boosters um, and you were using B for your boosters, obviously. And then these are just some things showing what the autopilot is currently doing. So it knows that our target is now on this, our target is now on the same body, and it knows that it needs to re-enter the atmosphere. So we'll let it go ahead and do its thing. Of course, once we hit the atmosphere, it will rotate itself level. So, I mean, you could, if you're watching it, you could do that preemptively as well. But we'll just let the autopilot do it as if we were AFK. So it's going to enter the atmosphere. It will pull up the trajectory. It will not let you stall when you come into atmosphere. So if your trajectory, if you were really heavy and your trajectory was, you know, falled straight down towards, it would pitch down and lift up the trajectory and make sure that your wings got the lift they needed. If you were super overloaded, you know, far above what your ship can actually handle, then obviously there's, you know, there's nothing you can do. But it does, uh, as much as it can to make sure that you do not stall. And then once you're in atmosphere, again, it will just go back to your cruising altitude, which on Alioth I have set at around 3400. And it will just cruise to the waypoint. And now that it's approaching, it will slow down and obviously get ready to land. Obviously it flies directly to the point from wherever you're at, so it didn't uh, use the runway in the right direction, but that's okay. And then once it's at the waypoint, it just lands, and that's it. The end. So 
So I'm going to take off again real quick and I'll just show you um, the altitude hold. So again, toggling the altitude hold on is with B. So you'll notice if you look at the altitude hold right here, as I use the pitch keys, it's updating my current altitude to where I'm at. So if I hit B now, turn altitude hold on, you see the autopilot is off because it's not flying to a destination. Um, but my altitude hold is on. So it's going to try and hold my altitude, you know, fairly close to 386. And while the altitude hold is on, I can still take over and pitch. So if I want to fly up and I pitch up a little bit, it'll continually update to the new altitude that I want to hold at. And then if I let go, it's going to hold that last altitude I was at when I was controlling the ship. And then if I just hit B and toggle it off again, I then have full control again. And then I can just toggle it on again and it will do it, it will hold altitude as well. So we'll turn that off and I'll hit, I'll hit Alt-1 and fly back to the destination I was at. And you'll notice it will not let me stall. It will only turn so sharp that my wings do not stall. It will not just flip you around to a target behind you and have your ship drop out of the sky. See, it's it will not go past that angle for my trajectory, which is the stall angle of the wings. And then it'll just fly me back to my target. So you can fly to targets that are directly behind you, and it will some other some other autopilots um, would just flip you around, and you would obviously fall out of the sky if you were too heavy. Um, this one will do everything it can to not do that. You know, there's. I have not run into a situation where it stalled, uh, but I've only tested it on a couple of, you know, decently capable ships. So definitely be there for yours for a few trips to make sure that it works well for yours. And that's it. Once it's back at the target, it'll go ahead and land. And there you have it. So there's a fairly in-depth overview of the current state of the autopilot. Thanks, guys. It is currently available. Um, we are going to charge 6 million quanta for it, and just based on its capabilities for now. Um, it does require manual installation. There is no auto configure for it um, just yet. If you are interested in getting it, um, you can reach out to me directly on Discord, which I will um, leave in the description below. You can join the Infinity Corporation's Discord um, and just ask for me in there. Um, but yeah, any interest? interested in it, um, go ahead and let me know, and we will get you set up. Thanks, guys.